Ayo, YouTube, sup, sup, it's 6WY here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Please make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and all of that jazz. Let's cue the intro. Ooh, 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 ooh. Tell me what it is, what's your purpose, what you trying to be? Is it infinity vibe? Is it infinity vibe? Uh, uh, let's go to Nico Ragusa. Nico Ragusa. I don't know why I'm not surprised. Hey y'all, uh, 6WY here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm recording this right after uh, Eric Matthews, or Mathis, uh, My Love Is Forever. Uh, if you guys do hear a, a, a little crying in the background, I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. It's my little brother, uh, my mom left. Uh, in case you see me picking at my nose, I'm not actually picking at my nose because I noticed me doing that in the other video. Uh, I have like something on my nose and I'm trying to get it off and it's so annoying. Uh, regardless, uh, welcome, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Uh, again, just like I said in um, the last video, I'm not sure when this is being uploaded, uh, but it should be soon after the Eric Matthews video. Uh, I am currently cleaning my room, like my room is basically almost clean. I'm just vacuuming it. I'm cleaning up my bed, but I do have some chips I'm eating on my bed, uh, and a phone charger and crap and my shoes. So if, and my work clothes, cause I got off work. So if you guys do see my bed, a little mess or my, uh, chair, a mess back there, that's why, because I'm currently moving a little bit of stuff around and cleaning. Um, but I wanted to, to film these videos for you all first. Uh, so we are going to be reviewing Nico Rigusso's new song, Clementine. Uh, it's gonna be amazing song, man. Uh, I've already heard the stupid. <sighs> so sorry for the yawns. It's like commonality for me to just yawn. I love the I uh, I I love the um snippet. Now this video comes with a little bit of a caveat, uh, which it is a challenge. Uh. I get a, or we get a free shirt if I'm, we can guess the Easter egg and I'm already know what the Easter egg is. I'll just say in this video, or I'll say the two things that I think I am almost positive are the Easter egg in this video. Uh, and then, yeah, I get a free shirt, which I should, cause I'm one of his biggest fans, but you know, uh, in case you guys are wondering, uh, this right here, uh, this is what the other reaction channels are doing. So that's why I have this now and this and not just my face on the side with the full video showing. Uh, let's get into Clementine. In case you guys don't know how my videos work, I listen to it once muted and then I watch the react with it with you guys after, uh, the first listen. Also, uh, I'm not sure if um, this is going to happen for this video, but even songs like Ray Rocky's songs I'm getting copyrighted for, what am I getting copyrighted for? I'm literally just reacting to your song. I know it's something they have to fix. It's not like they're trying to purposely copyright me. I'm not sure if this is going to get copyrighted. Nico, please don't allow this to get copyrighted. Anyways, let's start the song. She's a fucked up girl looking for some peace of mind 
This song is really, really short. Let's play it again, though. So, keep sleeping on the bed. I love the Tom and Jerry merch, bro. That is... In case you guys don't know, which you guys don't, I have a special... Special... Connection to Tom and Jerry, because when I was a kid, my grandfather who passed away in um, 2009, rest his soul, uh, my grandpa Tommy, he would used to film Tom and Jerry's and all of the CW for kids shows for us when I was a kid. So Yu Gi Oh! 5Ds, the TMNT show, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I mean, and Tom and Jerry was also one of them that got played, and that was kind of our favorite. And he'd buy us the movies along with my other grandparents, and it's been one of my favorite cartoons ever since. So I respect anyone who wears Tom and Jerry merch. My favorite Tom and Jerry movie actually is the one where they go to Mars. <laughs> uh, inspired by Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Okay. She's a f Let me go back so I can see you as well. The Dream Unders. Darnell and Roger. She's a fucked up girl looking for some peace of mind. Like blue hair. Her name is Clementine. Uh, so this is where I think the Easter egg is. In fact, I think I know this is where the Easter egg is. Uh, in that verse, because it relates to the whole reason why he made this song, which is actually a scene in another movie. I'll, uh, I'll play it up here. But th this, I am like 90% certain this is the Easter egg. There is no way it's not. And I can show you. I will look up what an Easter egg is right now. Easter egg. Definition. An unexpected or undocumented feature and a piece of computer software are on a DVD included as a joke or bonus. Uh, I'm pretty sure that counts as an Easter egg to me. Can I just say that this music video is probably the best he's ever done? I enjoy these type of music videos. I, uh, this is probably my favorite music video. I love him running around, you know, doing the puff going around or everywhere i love them chasing him i love the whoever made this music video needs to continue doing your music videos bro not that your other ones are bad because you do actually have a few good ones uh the good ones but this one is by far my favorite it seems like here you you are having the most fun and just enjoying yourself and vibing out to your music here 
Uh, I that is that a punk? Oh, I mean, I know it's orange, but it looks like a pumpkin almost. Wait, is the orange Clementine? Is this sin or um, is this insinuating that Clementine was a redhead? Uh, I, you guys could probably see this. This one I'm in our class. Uh, when I was in our class, uh, this is a ghetto Shenron. But maybe because it's orange, maybe they could be friends. Who knows? <laughs> That probably my my um favorite vocal track in the song is I think your name is Clementine. Or I think your name is Clementine. Why are you grabbing him, dude? <laughs> what the heck? I didn't see this before. What? You just have a dude screaming. Uh, imagine this is just a major, like, trip that nico's having so uh he, like maybe um he was watching annoying orange you all um remember that show and that youtube series where um he was watching annoying orange and maybe he just got uh like on a major or a major trip and just started watching that other movie too with that scene and then going like Oh, Clementine. Oh, yeah, the orange is Clementine. Or, hey, or my girl who has red head is Clementine, you know. Uh, I I actually really like this song. I got to give it, I want to give it a 10. I do, but I can't. I got to give it a 9. And I'll explain why it's a 9 right now. One of my biggest pet peeves, and I've said this on other songs like Bloody Romance as well, uh, is that I don't like when they when um, artists use the same lyrics over and over again. Nico is my biggest artist who does that in terms of the artists I see the most doing that. Here he did that, uh, but it works, All right? The real. Oh, let me make sure I didn't mess up my webcam. I might have did. Sorry, guys. Let me fix my webcam. Here, oh, uh, here, oh my bad, let me fix it. Here, it works just a little bit better, and I am not going to dock it down to a uh, eight, like I would have in one of his other songs. But not while well, I would have did something would have held more weight. I mean, like not like dock it down a full point, but would have held it. In more weight, or uh, it would have been held more accountable uh, if it was in other songs. But because this song is only a minute, I understand. My biggest issue on why it's not a ten though is there's no feature. This song is so short, and I like the risk taking with it. It's really good. I really, really wanted uh, another verse in here, bro. I don't know who you can get, and now I know why you don't have another verse. So it's kind of hard to put it against you, but I just physically can't put it any higher the reason why he doesn't have another verse is basically uh he tried to get a person to feature on it i um forgot the dude's name who he really really wanted but uh at the end of the day that dude just kind of ghosted him uh stuff happened and it didn't get done so he was left stranded get someone else on the song bro i will pay a feature or i will pay uh for a feature for you. I got a perfect dude who I can get on this song who I think you would love. Like, you need someone else on here. I'm pretty sure this is also a fan version uh, with another fan voicing his lyrics. Uh, if Maybe. Uh, I, I I might be wrong. But uh, 
if it's another fan version and it's only 139 that's not good but regardless i think you did an amazing job and uh we need to give a round of applause for nico because nico out of all of the other artists besides eric um mattis who i've listened to so far he constantly is releasing new music he knows to just release 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 and i'm going to keep saying this to wildcard and ray but ray and them and wildcard are working on it where they take so long to release the song um and it's just crazy but nico is always on top he um has already advertised his next song that he thinks he wants to us or wants to release uh this song is amazing though I can't say really anything bad about it. The only thing I'm saying is some small little knocks like not having feature. Please get a feature on this song. And, uh, yeah. Uh, and just a reoccurring verse. Let me know if I got the Easter egg right. I know it might be a little bit too late now, but just let me know. Uh, I hope you guys do have a amazing rest of your day. Like I know I am going to. Uh, this is 6WY or 6W Heisenberg. Signing out. Peace. Catch you in the next one. Later, gang. And that's because I want to be your favorite boy. I want to be the one that makes your day. The one you think about as you lie awake.